what's going on guys it's Trent with adventure crawling off-road today I'm in the garage we're gonna install a new drag link the one I currently have is a little bent and it's definitely got some worn-out joints so gonna take care of that don't mind the wind if you can hear it it's definitely howling um, but yeah anyways I'm just gonna go through the kind of the process of replacing this super simple job more or less just take a couple of nuts off take the old one out put the new one in um, but yeah let's let's go over what I got currently in the Jeep and then what I'm moving to. So what I currently have is the Yeti Steer Smarts top mount drag link, but it only has this part of the section from here to here is the Yeti part. This section is all stock. So what I'm replacing it with is the full HD system from Yeti. Uh, I'm hoping that it's a little bit stronger. These joints are worn out a little bit. And I believe this bar, depending on where you look from, it looks like it could be bent. So um, yeah, that's the goal. To replace that, hopefully have a little stiffer steering and just at the end of the day, just upgrade it to something a little bit stronger. So as mentioned, I got the Yeti Steer Smarts drag link top mount. This is a no drill top mount, so we'll see how it works out. Packing is good, as you can see, even just from first glance, it's definitely a little heavier duty than what I have currently on. All right guys, let's get started. So the first step, of course, is to take off the old one and then measure it up to the new one to get a good starting point and then put it back together. So we need just a 21 mil wrench to remove that. And then on this side, just gotta remove the cotter pin. That's a 24 mil. Just got to take that off. somewhat similar then I want to start using the middle bar just so I'm not going in and out on one end more than the other just allows it so I got the even amount of play to go back and forth um, but yeah but really looking at the two now all built side by side you can really see the difference and you can really see the bend that I had in this one so I'll take a closer look here I don't know how well the video is going to show it but you can definitely see the bend right there just a huge bent section there and you can also see just the size difference between everything i think it's going to make a huge difference and then i like having the big bar for the adjustability versus just this little one that was on it Anyways, let's measure them up and put it back in. Oh, yeah. Also to note, since this is that the top mount for the drag link, it has a reverse tapered kind of sleeve that you slide in. I already had it in there because this was um, the top mount from Yeti, just not the full HD kit that you see here. So um, that's already in there. I'm just going to clean it up and use it, and then I'll keep this one with this one. But yeah, that's it. What a difference. That gets us close at least measured together. Time to put it back in. What a difference. You can really feel the, the weight of this versus that. So as I mentioned, 
up on this one. I already have that reverse taper in from last time I did this with the other Yeti drag link I was using. So I'm gonna leave that in there to kind of clean it up a little bit. And I'll be able to slide this one right in, slide that one right up, and this should be good to go. adjust this so it fits in. I did put a strap on my steering wheel to keep it straight so hopefully there wasn't a whole lot of movement. So make some adjustments using this so it fits. Get that started. So on the top here, there's the Allen key spot, so I can start tightening it down using an Allen key. On the bottom here, there's just a 10 mil kind of hex here to be able to tighten it as I hold that. Yeah, you can see already just the amount of beef there is versus the old one. <laughs> Installed. I'm going to tighten these up a little bit and take it for a drive and then kind of adjust this as needed to get that sent the steering wheel back to center and that's it for this install pretty simple huge difference the thing is definitely heavy duty so now I got the matching Yeti tie rod, drag link. And that wind is just howling outside. Yeah, so that was pretty easy. Got the drag link in. Uh, definitely much beefier, stronger than what I had in there before. Uh, the joints, everything feels tight now. Took it for a quick drive, but it's so windy out right now, it was hard to even see where the steering wheel needed to be to be straight. So made some minor adjustments, feels pretty straight at the moment, but I'm gonna get a wheel alignment done here shortly. But overall, very happy with it. Super heavy duty, matches my tie rod now. Um, yeah, let's see how it goes over the next little while here. <laughs> 